Well, it's a new year. Time for a new air conditioner. <laughs> As usual, I get an air conditioner around Christmas. It's been in the box until now. It's April 20th. Um, the old one on the ground here is uh, no good. It somehow got uh, bounced around too much on the road. So I've got a neat way of swapping them in and out that is pretty easy. So let me show you. Swapping the old one out was pretty easy. I took out the screws gave it a little tug and it fell on the floor but it's already dead so it doesn't matter now the new one has tabs come up and go this way and i take i take a set of pliers i hold the bottom part with a channel lock and use crescent wrench down as small as i can to get it to be a nice flat piece across the back so now I got that all I need to do is slide it in then drill the holes and put in the screws and it's an easy job from there the real trick the real trick for me is to not dropping the new air conditioner cord goes in first And it does have to go in square or it won't go in. There we go. Got one side in. And the other side. And now it's in and up tight. Now all I have to do is put the screws in at the bottom. And that holds it in and it won't come out. And then I just, I drilled the holes in the little things. I just put them in with my drill. And they're snugged up. And that's all there is to it. And it's ready to go. I do have to plug it in though. Sometimes it doesn't work if I don't plug it in. So let's go inside and plug it in. After pulling the top off the shelf, or the seat, whatever it's called, um, there's the plug and here's the cord coming in from from the other area that's a single plug outlet and I think I'm not sure why but the microwave which is this plug here goes to another plug through a hole in the wall outside of this little compartment I think I'm going to change this to a two outlet plug so I can plug the microwave and the air conditioner into the same plug and use it. And so my other outlets will be open on the outside. It seems kind of stupid to have an air conditioner plugged or the microwave plugged in outside when the cord goes in through the inside where there's electricity. So we'll see if we can do that. Power's off, of course. We're just going to unscrew this. This was one big screw. Okay, that really only goes into the wood a little bit. There's just a little tiny bit of wood there. We got wire clips that you want to save I'll pull the other wire clip off too they come out pretty easy and we'll work on this up where we can see it up here 
says on the box to open device depress latch button through square holes in sides of body. Hmm. Think that means these little guys. And we we got the back cover off. And what do we find inside? Well, it looks like the ground wires aren't connected. <laughs> they're just sitting in there loose. I don't know if they're supposed to be down inside. Looks like a pretty cheap system. Let's see if I can get this close enough so that you can see it. They're just pinch locked into the thing. Not a system I really like. So I'm glad I'm changing that. We're going to use a real standard outlet instead of these cheap trailer things. Trailer trash. Maybe that's where that comes from. Huh. So we'll get these wires out of here. Look at how easy they come out. With some help with some expert trailer users and electricians, I've made some changes. So with my friend here, we've made some changes. Here's what we've got. So, with the help of my little buddy, we put in a new outlet, and now I can have both the microwave and the air conditioner plugged in to the same spot. So, another job well done with the help of the boys. Lastly, since that plug inside feeds these, the last thing to do is to test these plugs. Make sure they're still safe. And they're not. Because trailer wiring is reversed. Now in testing to see how it is, my tester says that the hot and neutral are reversed. Now I'm a better electrician than that. However, I do have my bad days. So, I checked all the other outlets in the trailer. I'll show you. So I checked all the other outlets in the trailer and they also are at a hot and neutral switched. So, now, there is a chance that a long time ago, I changed my converter, but I've since tested that a number of times, and that's not, that's not it. I do test my electricity frequently, actually, because when I go into a park, I want to make sure. The problem with that neutral and hot switched is that it can result in what they call a hot body condition on the trailer which means anything metal on the trailer can be electrified so that's something you might want to check on your trailer once in a while and I'll show you what I found out about that for the moment I'm running my electricity off a extension cord now this extension cord has a history an ex-wife history My ex-wife cut this extension cord with a hedge clipper and we added a new end to it. Actually, I think her father ended a new end to it. He's an engineer, a boiler engineer, not an electrical engineer. And you see that that Can you see that? that extension cord is wired backwards which makes the entire trailer wired backwards so it's not the trailer the trailer is okay but you got to be careful even when you use extension cords especially if they've been repaired you should never repair an extension cord with tape that doesn't really work and this one you can even see it's got spacing in it it's not properly done but that is a bad extension cord so, 
my trailer's okay, the electrical's okay, my new sockets are okay, but something more to know about trailers. I think I'll grease my wheels and dump my water and fill up my tanks for our next camping trip. Next trip, Stone Mountain, North Carolina. See you later, folks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment. Appreciate all you coming. Thanks.